Hi guys, it's Angie, your independent Sensi consultant coming to you from the porch. <laughs> um, this is where my magic homesteading happens, is on the porch. So I will briefly show you. So we currently have a space heater in here. Um, I've got grow lights coming because uh, where is spring? Waiting for spring, guys. Um, so I've got... This is like catnip, my poor aloe plant, um, some bulbs that I want to plant, some grapevines because I would like to make my own wine, a calla lily, some perennials and cactuses, but this, this is the magic, the seeds, the glorious, glorious seeds. This is my broccoli, cannot wait. This is cauliflower. Um, this is, my poor carrots are looking rough, but there's still some babies in there. Um, jalapeno peppers. Uh, my peas are outside in the in the raised bed. Let me show you those two real quick. I'll show you through the window because it's cold out here. Um, can you see them? I guess not. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna pop my head out. So yeah, pea plants are growing well in the raised bed. Super exciting. So we've got a little a little homesteading action happening here. Um, but to make things even more interesting, we got four baby chicks. So we are going to be raising chickens, um, fresh eggs, and then of course our vegetables. And the great thing about chickens is that they make fertilizer. Fertilizer goes into my plants, which I can then feed us and feed the chickens. So it's, it's a full circle of all the goodness. Um, I love that we can feed our chickens our scraps and they will turn them into eggs. And we'll also be running around loose to make, to eat all of our ticks and spiders. We do plan on having them free range sometimes. Um, we are working on picking out just the right coop. So, very exciting times at our house. Um, we are really preparing for a very busy summer and fall um, season. Okay. So my monthly is quite extensive. Sorry, I don't know where to ever where to put my phone in the porch. Okay. Oh, you guys are on. I cannot see any comments. I'm so sorry. But, um, just curious what everybody else has been warming, what everybody's been enjoying, what Scentsy products you've been using. Um, we have been going through some stuff. I put in French Kiss in the basement today. I'm very excited. And then yesterday I used up a big old chunk of my Squeeze the Day brick. Which if you want to get bricks, you can get them in your Scentsy Club. And you can even make them a half price item. So I got my Squeeze the Day brick for half price. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay. So monthly Scentsy Club. I've got a pack of cotton cleanups. They are incredible. I'm so excited. I've gotten to the point now where I kind of ration them. And so like if I'm in a hurry, I use cotton cleanups. And if I'm not in a hurry, then I just like hot dump my wax, which is terrible. It's terrible. It's so messy. The odds of making a mess are so high. Um, if you spill wax in your house on any surface, Put a paper towel on it and then use a blow dryer and that should be able to help you get the wax off. But it is so annoying, so frustrating. I know. So sorry. Okay. So my Scentsy Club is mostly bars and the reason for that is because of the always get my bar feature. What did I do with my wine? Oh, there it is. Because we're waxing and whining. Um, the always get my bar feature. Basically, if there's a scent and it comes out in a bar form, and I fall in love with it, I know that it needs to go in my club. So I have a monthly club, and that one is very important because that is where I get my whiff box for half price. So even though I get my whiff box at the end of the month and everybody else has already gotten theirs and I already know what's in it, and it's super obnoxious that everybody else already knows, um, even still, it's worth it to get a whiff box for $15, right? every month. I never have to worry about it. I never have to remember to order it. It just comes every month. Rain or shine, I get a whiff box. I want a whiff box every month. 
And I guess if I like saw a spoiler and was like, oh, I don't really need this with Fox, then I could just like change it to a brick or something in my club. So in this club, I get my half price Swift box and I get bars. So here's how you get half price items. If you pay or if you put in your Sensi Club $30 worth of product, so say you just want a monthly Whiff box, a monthly Whiff box delivered to your door on a schedule every month, just a Whiff box. So the Whiff box is priced at $30. That is it. So you put a Whiff box in a monthly Sensi Club subscription at $30, you get 10% off. So you would get your Whiff box, you'd get it at 10% off, delivered to your door every single month. It's a great deal, right? So $30, you get a 10% discount. At $60, you get a half price item. So even better to add $60 worth of bars and then get a Whiff box for 15. Such a great deal because you're gonna get 10% off of that 15 too. So that's another dollar fifty or whatever. It's it's insane. There's so many discounts. There's so many ways to save. Now there's a point system where not only are you gonna get 10% off, but you're also earning points that you can then use to get free and half price items with me. So super exciting. I definitely have sixty dollars worth of bars in this box plus my whiff box which I got for fifteen dollars. Okay so let's go through the bars that I get every single month and I love them and that's why they're in here. Some of them I wish I'd put them. I have a quarterly club as well. My half price item in my quarterly club, by the way, is a replacement filter for my air purifier. Those are $35. I get mine for, what is that, like 22 or something? No, $17.50, $17.50. This bar, I love this bar. This bar is like every gardener's delight. It is pineapple mint. It is so good. This is from the Life's a Garden Wax Collection. Um, as you have seen, I love gardening. I love all things flowers and all of that. So this is definitely a bar that I love. I did not love that collection as much as I had hoped to, but that bar. Ah, my beloved, my beloved Dumbo. I did not order extras of this. It is, I think, available still. If you have not smelled Dumbo, you should do so because it's amazing. It's like, it's like, have you smelled can tangerine creamsicle? Another Scentsy scent. Okay, so it's kind of like that in that it's got that creamy fruitiness, but it's not tangerine. It's like mango and pineapple. What else can I smell there? Like mandarin maybe? So it's got other, like more tropical fruits with like creamy, creaminess. Sorry, my nose itches. Probably because we have a house full of chickens. <laughs> Be careful, chickens have dander. Okay, another favorite of mine, strawberry swirl. This is one of my favorite scents to warm in the spring and summer months because it smells like authentic strawberries. It has a yogurty kind of smell to it. It's kind of like a strawberry smoothie. And when I first smelled this, I was like, oh, what is that? And now it's one of my very favorite scents. It's so authentic. It so smells like you're literally making a strawberry smoothie in your kitchen. Strawberry swirl is a bring back my bar. So of course, most of these are not available because I added them to my club so that I could always get them. Okay, next up, another bring back my bar that is no longer available. Happy birthday. Always reminds me of Frosty the Snowman. The wind is like howling outside right now okay so happy birthday it's like a funfetti cake or like a kind of a vanilla cake with like whipped cream icing it's so good it's so good it's bakery deliciousness it it's just sweet and girly and amazing this one is the Muppets I like this one but I think it's probably gonna go out of my club because I have a big stockpile, I really only use it in Rowan's room. It's like cherry berry and I don't know. It's kind of um, juvenile. It's got some I don't really know how to describe it, but it's fruity. It's fun. It's sweet. 
I'm getting quite the stockpile though because I get a bar every month and I don't go through a bar every month. So I probably need to remove the Muppets. Womp womp. Breakfast in bed. This was a fall winter scent and it left the catalog and I needed to make sure that I could always have some. So basically this is in my club right now as a placeholder. If it comes back in the fall and winter, I will remove it from my club and we'll be fine. But just in case it does not, I want to make sure. French Kiss. This is a bedroom scent for me, but I actually have it going in my basement right now. It's like um, sweet fig tenderly caressed by like exotic coconut pulp and cedar and a touch of caramel or something. It's got this like sexy scent description for French Kiss. It's like, yeah, okay guys, yeah, tenderly caressed, my fig, yes. Um, but yes, French kiss, it smells like, I can smell the cedar, I can smell the fig, I can't smell caramel, but it's a fun one, it's got a great description, and it's different, it's not like everything else since he puts out. So I always try to like, hold on to the things that are different. Graham Cracker Crunch. This was another one that left us in the fall and winter. I was sad. I didn't want to lose it. It smells like graham crackers and peanut butter. It's a great mixer if you need like a bakery scent. I love a good bakery scent. Coffee tree. This is coffee. Freshly roasted coffee beans. Grounds. Deliciousness. It's so good. I love it in my kitchen. It's not a long laster. It doesn't, it doesn't like go on for multiple days while it's going it smells so good mulberry bush this was sarah's favorite um i have some really old bars of mulberry bush that were sarah's that she was hoarding and i mm, it's kool-aid it's like mulberry kool-aid it's like sweet mulberries and bittersweet orange peel or something as a scent description but it smells like kool-aid to me i like kool-aid it's fine um this is the scent for up adventure is out there I don't know if I've actually warmed this bar yet I might just be collecting them to collect them I'm not exactly sure why I should really try it and see if I even like it because uh, yeah I'm just I mean it smells really good in the clam it's very fresh it's very clean um, it smells a little bit on the soapier side it's delicious but yeah I should I should probably warm it and make a decision yeah all right Disney uh, season of magic this is the Disney Christmas bar it came out with the Disney Christmas warmer um, unfortunately that warmer came out after I'd already bought Christmas gifts for everybody because otherwise everybody would have gotten that warmer it was amazing I don't know if you guys remember it was like a big giant Christmas tree with like Disney characters all over it absolutely stunning and it had a bar that came with it it was this one and this bar is amazing now why did I put it in my monthly club as opposed to my quarterly club don't know because now I'm getting one every month do I want to wear my Christmas scent in March almost April nope sure don't but here we are I cannot get this open so I have actually sorry about that I've actually never warmed this scent because the first time I got it it was after Christmas, but it smells like pine trees and happiness. And it smells like Disney. Um, so good. So good. Hopefully, I will have enough of a stockpile that I can get rid of that soon. And still have those bars for Christmas time. Oop, appealing apple. This is such a great scent. It is apples. It's like the apple that's in Johnny Appleseed. But then it has some uh, sweet pea in there to kind of tone it down oops rot row Got more bars than i know what to do with you guys okay wild black cherry super strong super cherry super delicious i love it fresh cut daisies also super strong super floral super fresh this is probably going to be the next bar I use, and I'm going to do it throughout the whole upstairs, I think, because this bar is really great for the springtime when you're ready for, like, spring cleaning, 
airing out the house, like making it smell fresh and clean again. I love some fresh cut daisies. Watermelon patch. This is a sweet, fresh, fruity. It's not real watermelon because I don't know what real watermelon actually smells like, but this is like candied watermelon. Hi, Lisa. This is like candied watermelon, like a Jolly Rancher. So good. All right. Sugar. This just was back recently in the flash sale. If you got some, you know sugar is amazing. This is a dupe for Aqualina's Pink Sugar. It's perfumey a little bit, but sweet. It's like cotton candy and lemon drops or something. I don't smell lemon drops. I don't smell lemon. I just smell like sweet, but it's like kind of body care sweet. It would be really amazing as a lotion or body wash or a Scentsy Soak. Like give me all things sugar. So yum. Okay, so I may be removing this from my club. I'm kind of struggling with do I want to do it or not. Sweet plum pastry. What do you guys think? Should I take it out of my club? I warm it a decent amount. It stains a little. Like you can see that this has stained the clamshell. Like it literally just came today and it stained the, stained the clamshell. So, I don't know. All right. Cherry almond pie, another strong one. I wonder what would happen if I mixed cherry almond pie with graham cracker crunch. Hmm. Hmm. That could be interesting. It could be very interesting. There's potential there. Okay, another kind of new addition to my club, Mandarin Moon. This was in the last Bring Back My Bar. This one doesn't have a Bring Back My Bar sticker on it anywhere. Notice that it is free of all stickering. I guess most of them don't have bring back my bar stickers. Interesting. I just noticed it. It also has the new clamshell. Mm. And it's so good, you guys. Mandarin Moon, so good. Maybe all of these have the new clamshell. Yeah, they all do. Okay, love story. Love it. Love it, love it. And pink haze. So some people mix pink haze with sugar. I do not. I have been kind of a purist about them. Um, I love them. I love them both. Pink haze is so good. Oops, sorry. I'm dropping you. Mmm. Oh, Lisa makes lemon drizzle cake with almond croissant and it's amazing. I am in a bit of a quandary about almond croissant and I don't know what to do. Okay, so I had a room spray in almond croissant and I started spraying it in Rowan's room at bedtime. Um, and I'm like, hey, do you want mama make your room smell like bread? And so she really loves it. And I spray it in her room spray room. It's like down to the last little like dibs and dabs of the room spray. And uh, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that because I can't get it anymore. I'm hoping it comes back in the fall. It's still a really long time and I don't have any more. So, eek. Hello, sugar. Speaking of Rowan, she she's up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's dressed. That's good news because um, I take these videos and put them on YouTube. And in one of my recent ones, um, I was live and Rowan came out after her bath and she did not have any clothes on. And I didn't really think about it. And YouTube took my video down. So, oopsie daisy. Did not mean to post any nakedness of my baby on social media. Oopsie daisy. Okay. So, my half price item, remember I told you guys, was the um, Whiff Box. So that means that this is $30 worth of products and I got it for $15. This one is pretty awesome. Sorry about the dog. So, it comes with this cool, SJ, this cool brochure. And it says, time for a refresh. It's got mermaids and like this guy with his anchor tattoo. He's looking pretty fly. Love that. Okay, so time for a refresh. And then inside, it's got some cleaning lists. We know spring cleaning can seem daunting. If you're not the type to get excited about vacuuming and organizing, you're not alone. Use this checklist to help you tackle some of those tricky areas that tend to get neglected. Use your new Scentsy Clean products to freshen up for a new season. 
So it's got like lists, junk drawer, baseboards, bathroom fixtures, kitchen black backsplash, top of the refrigerator, always good advice, window blinds, open the windows, and try out a new Scentsy bar. And then on the back it says, the first hint of spring is in bloom and it's time for spring cleaning. Your March Whiff box includes an assortment of Scentsy Clean products and amazing fragrances, perfect for rejuvenating your clean routine. You're also getting an exclusive Scentsy Swedish dishcloth that you won't find anywhere else. A cross between a sponge and a towel, this reusable dishcloth is great for cleaning countertops and other surfaces. Okay, so let's see. So the Swedish dishcloth is hilarious. So this is in the Whiff Box. This is Whiff Box exclusive. You can't get this unless you get a Whiff Box. You have to order that Whiff Box in March. It's the spring cleaning one. So that means you have, what, two days? You have two days. So if you want the Swedish dishcloth with the mermaids on it and the mermen, then you have to do it pronto. So like there's mermaids. It's all in teal. They are hilarious. I like this hairy guy. Um, so yeah, so you get a Swedish dishcloth. It is exclusive. I am excited about it. Okay, so this is a really cool box to introduce you to all of Sensi's clean products. So we have a dish soap in Cloudberry Dreams. I have not tried the dish soap in Cloudberry Dreams yet. I know that's shocking because I go through a lot of dish soap. But I have done Cloudberry Dreams in the laundry. I like Cloudberry Dreams in the clean products. So I'm excited to try that. I got a bathroom cleaner in Coastal Sunset. This is definitely a favorite fragrance for me in the bath in the counter in the counter clean. I have not tried it in the bathroom cleaner yet. I am excited to try it in the bathroom cleaner. I got a counter clean in Make a Splash. So you notice the mermaids? This is the, the design for Make a Splash. So this is where it comes from. Excited. And then there is a bar of the current scent of the month, Hey Tiger Lily. So it's a great box for the value. Remember for $15, I got all of this stuff uh, because I paid half price for it because I got it as part of my Scentsy Club. So there's a lot of rewards to be had. Um, it's a fantastic deal. Speaking of fantastic deals, have, did you guys take advantage of the flash sale? I am so excited to get my products. I need to check and see when they're coming. I'm so anxious, ready for my flash sale stuff to come. Um, it is not here yet. And I had tried to put in, I think it was a butter pecan room spray to solve my room spray issue because Rowan wants her room to smell like bread. Can't say I blame her, um, but alas, I feel like the butter pecan room spray was removed from my cart at checkout. So um, the thing about Scentsy flash sales is you've got to be fast and you've got to check out fast. You can't like sit on your hands and dilly dally and think about things. You just have to like get it, buy it. If you want it, get it, pay it, get it now. Like you have to be fast. And like a lot of times what you do is you have to like go in and like zoom, zoom, zoom through and pick out all the things you like want to have so bad like check out real fast and then you can go back later and like see if there's anything you missed because there probably is and like do a second order um but alas my flash sale items have not arrived yet i'm trying to be patient I'm trying really hard to be patient all right so i hope you guys are having a wonderful monday cheers it has been so much fun waxing and whining with you in April, I will get my monthly club plus my quarterly club. So I may skip my monthly club just to make, we'll see. We'll see how things go. But um, hopefully everybody's having a wonderful start to their work week, a wonderful start to their week week. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys.